Hello and welcome to this tutorial video. Let's start by creating something. You hit your ring and then you hit create thing. Now here's many base shapes you can choose from. Let's pick a cube. Just put it into the scene like this. Click trigger button to move like this. And you can resize by clicking the trigger button on both hands and then just expanding your hands like this or like this. Or like this. To delete the block that you placed, just tap into it and hit the grip button on your controller. Let's try to paint a color. Just pick the pencil, pick a color. These are the different hues, and this is the saturation and lightness. So let's pick this cyan color and then just paint it like this. You want to maybe rename your object. Let's call this test cube. Maybe let's add a little second cube, put it inside, paint it a bit. And for this test, I'm done. So I click done. And now I have an object that I can move in my scene. To clone the object, just grab inside it, hold it, and Push the, push the trigger button on the other controller. Now you want to make sure that your ring is glowing, which means your editor, you're currently in edit mode in the area. If your ring isn't glowing, just click change things in your dialog. One thing you may want to do pretty early on when creating your area is to create light. Just click the ring and hit this icon here. And now you can rotate so the sun comes up. Similar to how you shape objects, you can expand and collapse this object size like this. You can also paint it like this, so you can, she you can see the light effect changes here. There's a few other blocks here. This is the night part of the light equation. Let's try it like this. You can see the bottom part of the gradient will change. This here is the environment light for the whole area. So the brighter I put this, the more everything at all will be uh, lit. So maybe let's put this a uh, darkish yellow, like this. The darker the color, the less bright um, the environment light will be. And the last one in the environment mix is the fog. So Maybe we want a purple fog like this. Increase and lower the effect to increase the distance of the fog like this. If you want to change an object instead of creating a new one, you can just put the push the context laser button on your controller and then let go. And now you can see this is my test cube, the creator who placed it in this area, how often it's collected by everybody, how often it's placed in the universe by everybody. It can be a lot of fun to see that, for example, you made a chair and suddenly it's placed thousands of times in the universe. For now, we want to clone this, just hit clone, and now it's a copy of the object. So it won't affect this one, but it will affect this one in place. For example, let's give this a different color save it and now I have two different objects. I can again clone and move in my area. Now I want to create a little table for my area. First of all I'm looking for a nice place to create. I'm pressing the walk button and I walk here for example and then I hit the ring, hit create thing and now I want to add some table legs. Maybe this is my table leg. I resize as usual maybe a bit bigger like this. One thing I want to do different from other objects now is to have it snap to angles. What this means is when you touch it, it won't it won't uh, skew the angle. You can just place it like this. Maybe clone it like this. Clone it again and again. Like this. And we want to have a little Tabletop here, like this. 
I'm doing this a bit quicker than normally because it's just for demonstration purposes. So let's give this a bit of a wood color. I'm painting, painting, painting. You can see these paint, paint. And now I have a little table. I want to name this table. And one thing I want to do different here is to allow everybody to actually edit this creation. To do that, I click clonable by others. That means everybody else can context laser it and then create their own spin off. And you will always see a clone history of every object, so you will still get credit, of course. Hitting done. Now I have my little table, and because I clicked snap to angles, I can now move it easily in the area without screwing the angle. If I don't want that, quickly clone it, hit the attributes, click off this one, hit done button, and now I can move it as other objects without angle snapping. Now let's create a little holdable glass to put on the table. Hit create again. Let's name this glass. Let's pick maybe this base shape, like this. This will be just for demonstration purposes. And now I click the attributes button and I click holdable. This is important because otherwise people who are not editors in my area will not be able to move it, pick it up and anything. So now let's give it a blue color. Again, doing this quicker than usual. Maybe like this. Okay, I will allow others to clone it. Now I'm hitting done. Now, when the ring glows, you're still in edit mode in your area. So if you move it around, that's not actually the holdable moving. So we want to make sure we unclick change things. And now we're just a normal non-editor exploring this area. Meaning I cannot actually move the table, but I can pick up the holdable. Let me show you how you can add interaction and behavior to your creations. Hit create and let's do a little test cube and we give it a bit of a color and now we want to say when you touch it it will maybe shift its shape and move to here so we press the context info button the context laser and now we can see several states that we can pick and there's a scripting language here so we click the icon here and we say when touched then become state number two in maybe one second. Now what is state number two? We can define that. Just move it, maybe resize it, maybe give it a different color and that's state number two. And maybe when it's touched again then it will become state number one again in one second. Okay. Click the X here. This is the test play button. It will move every part of the thing to the first state. Okay, and now we touch it. And you can see we got a little interactive object. I want to show you how you can pick up things in areas that you like. For example, I'm in a bar area here. And let's say I'm not the creator of this area, so I cannot just move things around, but I can pick them up. Maybe I like this plant here. I teleport near the plant. Now I grab behind my shoulder. I press the trigger button. And this is how I retrieve my inventory. Now I can just pick up the plant and drop it here into my inventory. Now I can teleport back to my own area. Let's make me editor here again. Then I can grab my inventory again, take the object, and then place it into the area, clone it, and do anything I want with it. If the other person made the plant or the, the object, in this case the plant, to be clonable, then I can context laser it and hit the clone button here. Now I want to show you how you can change your own body. So for this sample purpose I will go to an area where I can pick up some pre-made uh, bodies and heads. I click on areas 
and I will go to heads and more. These are just a small collection of uh, bodies and heads for now. I will go next to this head, turn around a bit, and I will click the ring and me. Now I now can, I can see, see. Let me turn off the microphone. Now I can see the 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 body spheres of mine, which I can attach things to. Let me just grab the head here and attach it to my head part. And now I have a head. You can attach to your torso, to your lower torso, your arms, and this is like for hats or helmets or special hair or anything you want. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and there's much more to learn and if you have any questions just come to the Steam forum and you can find more links and video links at anyland.com and you can also always email us. Okay, here's a little bow I made using emitting scripts. Have a look. And if I manage to hit the target center it will glow a bit. Maybe you can give it a try.